were celebrating. Bunch, mate. Well, I just thought she should know. Excuse me, who is this? Tyrone Dobbs, ex-best mate and cheated on husband. You weren't going to tell me about this. Why should I? Our marriage is over, you've just said. <laughs> Doesn't make any difference. Doesn't make any difference. He was trying to hide the money from me. That proves he knows legally it's half mine. Uh, no way. I bought that ticket after a quarter in bed with a new bloke. Oh. That money's mine, tell her. Well, you could have told me about this. Right, well, I best get back. Got to pick up a new exhaust for a car, sir. Thanks, Tyrone. I owe you one. No worries. My work here's done. Right, I think we need to start work on a new settlement. I don't know what to say. Well, it's pretty simple if you ask me. You've got two options. In the words of the clash, should I stay or should I go? You're asking me to give up everything and go off travelling around the world. <laughs> it sounds a pretty good offer to me. Yeah, but I've lived here for ages, haven't I? I can't just up sticks and go off I don't know where. OK, well, we've got a couple of hours. Let's think it through logically. Let's make a list, pros and cons. OK, I'll do it. Let's go. Right. Well, pretty quick. Well, what can I say? I'm wild and spontaneous. You've decided? Yeah, I've decided. You can have half hour, cool enough period if you want. Well, that'd just be a waste, wouldn't it? Because I'm ready now. You're absolutely sure? Ah, oh, now you're having cold feet. Oh, no, my feet are toasty warm enough to trot. Right. Well, better get me packing done then. Right. Game on. Miss <laughs> Chipper, right? I'm... I'd almost say bushy tailed even. John State was bushy tailed. Well, I think he was on medication. But he had good colour in his teeth. We we could pop in and welcome him home. Oh, I, I think Biz would probably prefer for him to have a bit of time on their own, you know, until things get back to normal. Well, what's normal? I mean, am I normal? Are you normal? Are any of us normal? Don't answer that. Drink. Yeah. Hayley? Um, yeah, yeah, I will. Just, just give me a minute, Sally. OK. You know what scares me about mental illness? How do you know you've got it? Well, see, that's the good thing. My granddad, he had Alzheimer's, only he didn't know he got it. Us, we were like Rex. Him, happy as Larry. I'd like you to tell me if you thought I was going funny. You are going funny. No, I'm being serious. You are as nutty as a fruitcake. No, but... You, you know... are a couple of sarnies and a pickled onion short of a picnic. I'm trying to be serious. You are as batty as a big bag of fruit bats in a battery. That don't make sense. So you think. Hi, love. Hi. I'm just going to nip to Rovis for a quick one before my tea. What's that? What, 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 what's what? That behind your bag. Er, uh, nothing. I saw it. What? Whatever it is that you've got behind your bag. I think you're mistaken. Roy? But please, s stop asking me questions. Well, now you're getting me worried. Sorry. So? It's nothing to worry about. So you're not going to tell me? No. Right. Well, whatever it is, I hope that it's a lovely big secret surprise for me because I can't think of any other reason why you'd lie to me. Yes. Uh, no, no. What does that mean? Please, just go and join your friends. So there's really nothing for me to worry about? No. Look me in the eye and tell me that there is nothing for me to worry about. There is nothing for you to worry about. OK. I don't believe you. But I love you enough and I trust you enough to know that whatever it is that you're hiding behind your back is serious enough for you to feel that it's acceptable to lie to me. Maybe you'd like to think about that. I'll be back in half an hour. I'll let her keep the house. I've shared all our assets fairly. This is my money. He can't keep £200,000. That's not fair. Tell him. Well, this is a very unusual situation. Very unusual. Your lawyers. You're supposed to know about these things. Who bought the ticket? Me. I did. We were married when you bought that ticket. We're. We're now in the middle of getting a divorce, which you had plenty of chance to change your mind, but you wanted out. So, you're getting now. Just sign the papers. Oh, do you wonder why I want to divorce him? You can see what he's like. I think we should try to get clarification of the legal situation. Yeah, I think so too. I don't need clarification. Half that money is mine. <gasps> you had your chance. You turned it down. If you could just give us one minute, hmm? Love, I know what a hypothetical question is. So can I ask you one? I can't see the point. Humor me. Go on, then. 
What would you say if I said I needed £2,000 and I needed it now? I'd say, what do you need £2,000 for? I can't tell you. Then you're not having it. But it's really important. Oh, yeah. How important? Very important. Well, life and death? Maybe. Then why can't you tell me what it's for? I don't know. A million reasons. I need the money and I need you to trust me. Are you pregnant? It's an hypothetical situation. I know, but are you? No. All right, is it a gambling debt? No. Is it drugs? No. Is it a medical problem? No. Do you know what? I don't think it's important at all. It is really important. Go on, then. Two grand. Have it. Thanks. I'll pay you back every penny. I need it in cash soon enough. Hang on. This is hypothetical. Made up, not real. But I do need the money. And I need you to tell me what it's for. Because if I worry too much, I won't be able to sleep. And you know what I'm like without sleep, love. I want to lend it Gary so you can buy a van. OK. Deal's off. Dad, he's doing really well. He just needs some help. What have you got it in for Gary? He's a decent bloke trying to make a living. He Enough. will pay you back. It's not about Gary. It's you. What about me? You've just said you'd lend me the money. Yeah, and then I remembered that you signed the lease so that my daughter Katie can shack up with her teenage boyfriend. Sorry, love. Bank's closed. Ta-ra! They agreed a settlement, but they hadn't signed it. Look, my client won the money on a scratch card this morning and his wife claims that half the money should be hers. Hold on. Do you have the money now? I've got a scratch card in my wallet. OK. You've got something worth £200,000 in your wallet. Didn't you think you should go and put it somewhere safe? It's safe. I'm sat on it. Show me the card. No? OK. Thanks. Cheers. Yeah, so? It's my money too, right? I don't, I don't know. know. Well, you're supposed to be the professionals. I suggest we schedule an arbitration meeting. Maybe next week? Yeah, I think so. Too. Oh, another meeting. What you mean is we pay you a load more money. You're all the same, you lawyers. Look, this is a good deal. You agreed it. Why don't you save us all a load of time and money and just sign the papers? I'm not signing anything. I'll give you 50 quid. 100 quid. You're loving this, aren't you? You know what this is, don't you? You're a witness. This is mental cruelty. Mental cruelty? You saw the bloke who came in before, didn't you? She lied to me. She told me she was sleeping with him oh. just to mess with me head. Now, that is mental cruelty. Oh, well, if you're going to wash our dirty linen, let's go the whole way. Tell him about how you were running around with your best mate's wife while I was being diagnosed with breast cancer. You want the divorce to sign the paper. You not only have an affair, you fathered a child. Look, there's the dotted line right there. Just write your name on it. So, should I prepare myself for a nice surprise? I'm afraid not. And you are absolutely right. There is no good reason why I should ever lie to you. And I'm truly sorry that I did. So what's it all about? This. Arrived this morning. Who's it from? My mother. Well, shouldn't you open it? I should. But I don't want to. Well, what do you want to do? I don't know. Well... If you're not really that bothered and you don't really want to know what she wants, then maybe you should just throw it away. I tried that. Put it in the bin, took it out again. Which proves that you do want to know what's inside. I probably should have burnt it. Why are you so frightened? I don't know. So as soon as I saw that handwriting, I brought it all back. Terrible memories of unhappiness. I can't imagine why she'd ever want to contact me. Unless she's ill. Or dead. She's not dead, Roy. She addressed the envelope. Unless the solicitor has sent it on after the death. Do you want me to open it? Would you? Give it here. You sure? Um, she's not dead, Roy, but your stepfather is. I'm sorry. Oh, you're joking. I'm serious. Mm. I don't even know the bloke. We were living together for ages. Yeah, as flatmates, not as whatever's going on now. I mean, what is going on now? Well, I don't know. I'm not sure. Well, there you go. You don't go off with a bloke you're not sure about. I do. Anyway, I've made my decision. Yeah, well, unmake it. Tell him no. I really want to go. Oh, John, at least think about it. I have thought about it. Yeah, well, think about it some more. We're getting the ferry tonight. Oh. Janice, come on, wake up, get back to the real world. All right, then. You give me one good reason why I should stay around here. Uh, well, hello. Me? You've got Peter and Simon. 
Yeah, but... I... Unless you're thinking of going and having another affair again and wrecking it all over again. Jan, I love Peter. This is for keeps. Well, there you go, then. You don't need me. I'll always need you. So I've just got to stay around here and be really miserable because you can't cope on your own. How much have you had to drink? Do you know what? I don't care what you think. I didn't come round here for permission. I came to say goodbye. Bye. Dennis? I paid cash. Yeah, with our money. My our money, my money. And where did you get the cash? Uh, from the cash point machine. From our joint bank account? No, I closed the joint account from my account, which you have no claim. Yeah, well, I think you should look at these documents again, because it says quite clearly that all bank accounts, that's all bank accounts, should be regarded as joint property. OK, you can have half the account, but you're not having half of this. My daughter needs to be at her piano class in half an hour. Right, so why don't you just sign the papers and we can all go home? Do I look like an idiot? He's sitting on 200 grand. There's no way I'm signing anything. This divorce is off. So, when did you last see Roger? Over 30 years ago. You could go to the funeral. <laughs> that would seem a little hypocritical, considering I, I, I never liked him or, or even got on with him. In fact, his arrival... It, it's what led me to leaving home. But he was your stepdad for a bit. And I would imagine that your mother would appreciate the support. It says here, I just thought you'd like to know. That's not exactly a cry for help. No, well, but it's just... I know now. I'll send a card. Seems appropriate under the circumstances. Roy, look at you. You're all wound up. Shall I get us another drink? I, I can't, not tonight. The oil in the frying is changing. Yeah. Do you know, I wouldn't have known a thing about it if Tyrone hadn't turned up. Well, I just did what any decent person would. Cheers. Ah, you've earned it. You're about to sign away £200,000. Oh, yeah. I mean, I thought I knew Kevin, the good and the bad, but this... I mean, how sneaky can you get? It's worse than robbery. I'm shocked. I'm speechless. You're entitled to half that money. Oh, I know, girl, and I'm going to get it. Cheers, you gentlemen. I'm going to make sure I'm a prenup, me. Before you got the money. In case something like this happens. How's it right he wins the money fair and square and she can take it off him, eh? Uh, she can't just take it off me, though, can she? Possession is nine-tenths of the law, mate. You know, I'd do something daft like buy a Porsche. She can't have for that, can't she, eh? I've got a baby to look after. Yeah, but you could put the money in a baby's name. I bet you could get a lawyer to do that. I mean, who take money from a baby? Well, well, we're taking sides, are we? Oh, yes. Can't sit on the fence. Yeah, well, uh, as the vendor of the winning card, I, I, I feel I should stay neutral. Well, you saw what happened, didn't you? That winning card should be mine by rights. I've been disadvantaged by my own good manners. Oh, as my mother used to say, good manners, they cost now. Yeah, well, you can tell your mother that good manners have cost me 200 grand. I called you five times. My phone's charging in my dad's office. What are you doing at your dad's office? It's my dad. You're asking him for money, weren't you? What are you, Cyphus? I said I'd sort it. Well, cos he said no. Why don't you trust me? I do trust you. You went behind my back trying to sort my life out as if I can't cope. I asked my dad for a loan, cos I know if you had your own van, you could make a real go of it. <sighs> What's me crime here? Having faith in you? Trying to support you? I'd just like to know what's going on, that's all. OK, I don't like being kept out of the loop. OK. Going for a drink or what? Yeah, OK. Oh, you're That's all I need. There's room on the back seat. Only I didn't know whether it were going to be warm or hot or wet or what. We're going to be invited to the opera or the footy or cocktails with the ambassador. Do you think this is a good idea? It is for me. Hey. It's going to be OK. <laughs> Changing your mind? No. Are you? No. So we're still on then, yeah? Yeah. You've said all your goodbyes. Yeah, I reckon. Bye.
Let's get loaded up then. Have I got time to repack? Because I really don't need five bags. We've got an hour. Right, I'll get my skates on then. <laughs> One thing first. So, it has made no offer to share the money with you in a any way whatsoever? No. She wouldn't have even known about it if it weren't for me. He's got two daughters, I know. I couldn't mm. believe it when I heard it. Oh, for years you've given to that man. How many days? Uh, me too. Who would have thought it, eh? Well, we must have done something right. Well, you must have. I just put my foot in it. You're a natural. I still can't believe it's happening. He bought the scratch card with his own money. He's already agreed a generous settlement. He's giving you the house. And he offered to call off the divorce. It's her idea. Soon change the tune when she smelt the money. So this is obviously far more complicated than it seems. Oh, here they are now. Hey, hey, come here, you two. What's going on, Mummy? Smiling? That's because we've had some good news. Uh, a pint and a bottle of lager, please, mate. What news? <clears throat> we've been to the review meeting and Faye's told the adoption agency she likes living with us. What, even though you put a comfort blanket on a boil wash? <sighs> hey, she knows what's in here. She's going to be placed with us permanently. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah, I'm the chuffer. 200,000 quid? And he wants to keep it all and leave nothing for Sally? Yeah. That's incredible. Well, it's the hot topic in the Rovers tonight. Hey, you should come over. Oh, I don't know. Trust me, you don't need to worry about what folk think. Everybody that I've spoken to has been really supportive and understanding. Why? Who have you been talking to? Well, trusted friends and co-workers. Julie, we'd rather you didn't discuss our private life, thank you. There's no shame. People care, Fizz. They want to help. Chess can mind the baby. Or bring her over with you. Maybe tomorrow. Is it that you can't drink because of your medication? No, it's not. But maybe a quick one, eh? Just say hello and that. Are you sure you're up to it? Well, I've got to face the world sometime. I'll tell you what, I'll bob over there and let everyone know you're coming. Make sure no one stares. Hurry up! First she tries to keep it quiet, and then when she does find out, he tells her she's not getting any of it. I mean, this is the mother of his children. The woman he married twice. She said to house. She takes half his business, she takes half of everything he's worked for his whole life. Then he gets a bit of luck on the scratch cards and she wants that and all. Women, huh? The bleed you dry and spit out the bones. Well, yeah, gonna show a bit of solidarity. Kev's in this chair. So it's been okay. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. It's just uh, been a bit of a weird day. I'll pick him up in an hour. All right, cheers. Thanks. Bye. They're coming over now. So promise me you'll be sensitive. Sensitive is my middle name. We need to make them feel at home. So don't do anything mad. I wasn't planning to. Good. Right, deep breaths. Calm on the inside, calm on the outside. What's going on with Janice? I don't know. What are you talking about? I've just seen her putting bags in the back of the car and kissing Trevor the Minman. What's that? Janice? Uh, oh, wait, Rosie! Rosie! Come here. Hey, babe. Over here. Rosie, come on, sit here. Rosie. Over here, love. Come on, on this side. Come on. We need you on our team. Why? What's going on? You have to take sides. Take sides? Why? What's happened? Your dad has won £200,000 on a special scratch card he kept secret from me, hoping that I'd sign the divorce papers so he could keep all the money to himself. Yeah, but your man found out in the nick of time and refused to sign it. So right now he's got the money, but we've got justice on our side. Yeah, and the lawyers are still working on it. What? Dad's won 200 grand. Hmm. Ready to go? I reckon, yeah. Okay. Start the car, Trev. Yes, Leanne. She said in a piece, Trevor. Just start the car. Trevor, will you start this flaming car? Have you gone deaf? Is this how it's going to be? You make all the decisions and I just get ignored. Glad to see you getting on so well. What do you think you're doing? I'm doing what I said I was going to do. And nothing you say is going to change my mind. Right. Well, you might need this then. What is it? There's 15 euros there. It's my leftovers from my holidays. Don't spend it all at once. And send us a postcard every now and again, yeah? Come here. <laughs> you won't like it anyway. You'll be backing up with you. Yeah, I probably will. But you know what? Even if I am, 
At least I'll have had an adventure. This adventure's going to last a lot longer than a week, unless we miss that ferry. Do you know what? He is so bossy. <laughs> right. Well, go on, then. Drive carefully. Always do. <laughs> They're all coming out to wave me off. Chesney will be all right for half an hour. Back to reality. Yeah. I'm looking for someone to show how much I really think of him. <laughs> Kebab and I'm waiting for the cab. <sighs> You're enjoying this, aren't you? Well, I've never wanted this to happen, Sal. I want you. I still do. And deep down, I know you still want me. <sighs> that money's turned your head. No, this money changes everything. We can pay off the mortgage, look after the kids. We don't have to scrimp and save and worry anymore. What are you saying? I'm saying we should try again. Me, you, Jack, the girls and 200,000 quid. Do you seriously expect me to forget everything you've done and take you back because you're rich? Why not? I wouldn't take you back if you were the richest man in the world, showering me with pearls and diamonds. Well, I don't know about that, but I've probably stretched to a posh rock and some new shoes. There is no amount of money in this whole world that would ever buy you another chance with me. This is rubbish! Nick, be quiet. Since when did you turn into a bingo expert? Shut up! All the elevens? Uh, uh, sorry, I mean uh, eleven. It's back. Benidorm is next. <laughs> 